at the moment they gave her the injection, they said they gave it so that she could go to sleep. But in fact, they just killed my mother. The GP said, well, I'm here with your mother and I ordered an ambulance because I think she has pneumonia. I drove to, uh, to the place where the hospital is and I got an, a call and there was a voicemail from a, a, a doctor from the ER. He said, you don't have to hurry because you will not find her alive if you come to the hospital. And he said, yeah, we had to, um, to give her an, uh, an injection, so she will uh, be in a coma, but it will be a coma, she will not wake up. My daughter was with me and, well, we drove to the hospital. So I said, but why? Why didn't you intubate her? And he said, I called the GP, and the GP said, she was lonely, she was depressed, she didn't want to go out of her house and, and she wanted to stay in her house, she didn't want to go to a home. Therefore we decided that it would be better not to uh, treat her anymore. They said my mother was depressed, but she was not depressed. The doctor called me in the middle of the night and said she had passed away. And I said, the cause of death, what's the cause of death? and she said pneumonia and heart failure. But I thought, I was laying in my bed, thought, no, that was not. It was that little injection you gave her. They say that self-determination is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. But in this case, was it self-determination? No, absolutely not. She was euthanized without consent. They decided. 